I'm Greg Redk, Redk Mods, and welcome to episode 13 of season 3 of my PowerPC series. Today's episode, I'll be showing you how to install an airport card into your late 2005 Power Mac G5 using just a first generation Snow Airport Extreme right here. And I'll show you which one you can use and which one you can't. Now the reason why we're doing it this way is because the late 2005 G5s used the combo uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth card called the Runway card. Those cards usually go for about four times what the machine's worth. Uh, the cheapest I think I've ever seen one's like 120 bucks. Really expensive. And the funny thing is the slot inside is actually um, compatible with the old airport extreme cards and you can if you need bluetooth you can always just use a bluetooth dongle like i used right there um, so this is a much more cost effective way and the reason why we're using airport extremes that instead of just buying the card is because let's see here if i can find it the connector on the uh, extreme card uh, the old one is actually um, bigger than the uh, built-in antenna connectors for these systems. As we can see, the connectors are back there. This is the uh, antenna I currently have in it. It doesn't work right, and I'll explain why. Um, but the reason why we're using these extremes is so we can take the antenna out of it and um, just put it straight into this machine like I did with this. I'll pull this one out since I don't need it anymore. This is the wrong antenna for it. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. But <clears throat> back in the day you could buy one of these things and it would be cheaper than just buying one of these. And uh, these, system, these um, routers here come with that card in it. Okay. So back in the day you could buy one of these on the used market uh, much much cheaper than just buying the card and today it's usually a little bit cheaper to buy the card than it is one of these but if you're buying an aftermarket kit to put one of these cards in uh, on eBay for instance they're like 30 plus dollars and um, you can still get the airport extreme for like 10 bucks um, which is a big difference plus the kit usually involves using something like an iBook antenna and then trying to put it up here somewhere. It's not a very good solution. So it's just better to buy an Airport Extreme to get the card and the antenna. But you have to have the, uh, a specific model for this to work. And uh, I found that out the hard way. Uh, the first one I ever did, my uh, G5 here, I got the right extreme um, right out the box um, but this one the quad I didn't and I didn't know that there was a difference on these antennas and uh, I custom modded this antenna so it would work and it just didn't work now what you need to look for in these extremes here is the back this is the one you need the one without the built-in dial-up modem this is my retro router I use for my uh, retro Max whenever I need them. Uh, this has the dial-up modem in it, which you can see right there. That's the phone line jack. Plus it has uh, an area for an external antenna. Uh, because the external antenna, these antennas are not compatible and uh, actually require power um, to uh, work. And uh, there's, uh, I, I desoldered the uh, antennas on this, the wires on this, you can see the solder pads. I desoldered the wires on that, but um, it needed external power. It uses, I think, five different lines or something like that. Um, I'll actually maybe take this off and just show you what the antenna looks like. But um, it needs to be plugged directly into the board to get power so you can amplify the external connection and because of that that antenna is not compatible with what we're doing so we need this one because this has a non-powered antenna in it and we'll show you how to do all that and I apologize in advance for um, 
the shakiness of this uh, upcoming video it um, it's going to be shaky because my tripod kind of got broken during my rem um, remodel which I'm still in the process of doing by the way this is actually the cleanest it's been for a while so I decided to film this really quick um, but it's going to be shaky and I apologize but anyway let's get on to the point and let's uh, film a little bit here <laughs> So really quick, I'm going to show you what the dial-up modem version looks like in the antenna. I've already taken out the three T8 screws on the bottom of it. We'll just pop it off real quick. This is what the dial-up modem one looks like. You can see the power lines and all that stuff. If you see this, you bought the wrong extreme. Plus, of course, it's also obvious because it's got those extra ports on the back. But if you see that, you bought the wrong extreme, you're going to have to buy another one. Um, so that's that. So now I'm going to hook this one back up to my um, internet and uh, actually um, just uh, take this one apart and show you what you need to do. Okay, to start off, I would like to mention that if you are doing this just for the Airport Extreme card, like if you have an extra one of these laying around or you find a broken one without a power supply or something on eBay for cheaper than one of these cards, you can buy either model and um, get that card it's the same card both of them but if you're doing the uh, late 2005 G5 way for the antenna and stuff you need the version without the dial-up modem so after you verify that you have that version you just need to take out this screw here this screw here and this screw here they're T8 I'm going to take that off off camera so it's not super shaky and we'll continue from there okay so I took the three screws out you can turn it over and the top should just pop right off like that and that's the antenna you want to see and um, we're going to have to carefully peel up this controller board here and what I usually do is I like hot glue it to the back of the antenna uh, so it's out in the way um, make sure it doesn't of course ground onto the antenna but anyway getting back to the point we need to unplug this antenna here like that and then we need a small Phillips head screwdriver which I have right here I think You just lift the antenna off and what you need to do is this is stuck on with double-sided adhesive so you want to go under it really carefully with something to peel it up because you don't want to break this board this controls the whole antennas connections and stuff so I'm going to probably get a razor blade and slice it out of here and once you do that you can go into the case and pull the airport cart out if you're careful enough you can actually pull this board off by twisting it back and forth very carefully without cracking the board and it may come up by dragging in using the uh, razor method now to get the internal case out if you lift on it you know it's not coming out and that's because there's one more screw which is hidden under this label it's right here it's a Phillips head and if you feel around for it there it is right there just twist it out like that and the internal case should pop out like that now you need to take out uh, two Phillips here two Phillips there and you can crack the case open so that's what I'm going to do off camera because this is going to get very shaky again I think okay so once you take the screws out it should just lift the top off of it I think that's all the screws yeah the top should just lift off like that 
and there's your airport extreme card you can just grab the tab here and pull it out and then you can um, toss the contents of this or if you need components off the board you could do that if you needed the board to fix another airport extreme you could do that um, at this point this is this is just a fancy piece of plastic and some silicon um, a little metal but you know other than that that's all you need is that and the antenna and now you can set up your G5 okay so after you have all that out of the airport extreme you can take this antenna and modify it so it works with the G5 and you can put the airport extreme card in in the slot which is designed for the um, runway card right here as we can see there and what you want to do is make sure it's airport extreme up and make sure the antenna is off to the left and it literally just slots right in like that it didn't go in it literally just slots right in like this and then you have the card in there and uh, you can now set up the um, inner uh, the uh, antenna right there so let's do that now okay to install the antenna the best place to put this antenna plus the wire is kind of short so it makes the most sense to put it there is to uh, put it in between the tray area here and the front of the machine but um, even though it probably won't make a difference it's better to uh, make sure that the antenna doesn't ground out to anything like the metal casing so what I do usually is either put a strip of uh, electrical tape here and here and here or I do a line of hot glue in those areas and that's why I'm going to do this time uh, also it's good to put the board behind the antenna like this um, and uh, hot glue it in place make sure of course the board doesn't ground out to anything but before you do all that you want to test fit it uh, these uh, antennas are actually just a little bit too wide you want to bend it a little bit in the middle like this so it's more like that and then you want to test fit it and make sure it's got a good fit in there like so and bend it back out and what it's going to do is use basically uh, tension to hold the antenna in it won't be moving at all and you won't need any tools to do it and that's what it should look like and uh, I'm going to go build the antenna real quick but then we'll put it in and I'll show you the end result by the end of it all your antenna should look like this okay this should be um, it being upwards so it should go in like that I got the board in glued in I got the points where it's going to contact the case um, insulated and it should just go slide in and then I can just connect the antenna and I'll show you what it looks like once it's installed and there is the finished product on how it should look like in the case everything is nice and um, installed there sorry I'm holding the light and it keeps getting in the way but I want to make sure it's all well lit and it plugs straight into the card and you have your antenna installed and it should work and from the front it's it looks pretty good uh, as we can see with that one too it almost looks like you could have done this from the factory um, and it will get good signal I am doing uh, this card right here for um, Tiger support because my 3 comma 1 um, Mac Pro uh, Wi-Fi card won't work in PowerPC Tiger so I uh, I put that put this card in here for backwards compatibility uh, it it works uh, I think we're going to find out we're going to boot it up in the Tiger and see if we get a good signal because with the old antenna I didn't get any signal without pulling the entire case out of the line up here so um, let's uh, try it out
Okay, so we have the card installed. It identifies it as an airport card like it should. And if we go over to Wi-Fi, let's see if we can connect. If I can get it to come up, here we go. And it connected and it's got almost full bars. My um, router's on the other side of the house. But um, compared to having one to zero bars, that is a big difference. The antenna worked great. Let's see if we have internet. It looks like we do. Um, let's see here. Well, we have internet. <laughs> Go to Apple real quick. If it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. We have internet. I'm not plugged into anything. That's just straight off the Wi-Fi. And it works. So that's awesome. So anyway, guys. Oh, and it's also picking up networks I uh, didn't even know it could see. That's cool, too. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, showing you how to use a white Snow Airport Extreme router to make a uh, antenna and uh, Wi-Fi card for your uh, late 2005 G5. Now, uh, like I said before, it will also work on other systems, but you won't need the antenna, and it doesn't matter which Airport Extreme you use after that. But for the late 2005, this is the best way to get an antenna for it, and um, it will save you at least $110, um, which is a, a, a big plus. <laughs> so that that's awesome. Anyway, guys, so that's the end of today's video. Once again, don't forget that I am now supported by SellYourMac.com. If you go to SellYourMac.com slash RutkMods and sell something, I'll get a small kickback, which will help me. And it will also help you because you'll be making money. Also, uh, don't forget that I do now have a Patreon if you want to help support me. There will be a link in the description and also at the end of the video. And uh, this has been a RutkMods video.